I hate this stuff. Evening ladies and gents, it's Rusty here and welcome to my TED talk. This story begins back in the year 2016, October the 26th to be precise, a month when Donald Trump was caught on tape describing how he liked to grab women's cats, and celebrated arse owner and sex tape Kim Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint. More noteworthy perhaps is the short video I uploaded to YouTube, a fun and well put together compilation of some of the bugs, glitches and performance issues I'd experienced whilst playing the game Dragon Age Inquisition. It wasn't the viral hit I'd hoped for and is currently sitting on 23 views. It would have remained like that, gathering virtual dust, but on the 5th of September 2018 I received an email from YouTube about a copyright claim on one of my videos. Now my initial reaction was, oh laser chain, will you never learn? But I quickly noticed that the video was Dragon Age related. A copyright owner had used YouTube's content ID system to flag a section of my video. Now the claim was made by 1RPM on behalf of Nomade Records. The copyrighted content I'd allegedly used was a piece of music, Prepare for the Changes, by the White Dragon Project. Now if you watch the video, the flag section of music is clearly from the game Dragon Age Inquisition. It's the main theme of that game, like the menu theme. This is the reason I decided not to just let it go. Plus, I was intrigued about what this Prepare for the Changes White Dragon malarkey was all about. Perhaps it was Dragon Age composer Trevor Morris's band. In which case, you know, it's your copyright mate, I don't think this is worth me fighting for 20 views. Although I did find it a little odd that this was suddenly being claimed after almost two years, as this would mean that the music had only just been uploaded to YouTube's Content ID database. And Dragon Age Inquisition is about four years old as of now. I did some googling and it turns out that Nomade Records are actually a South American company that publishes heavy metal music. A White Dragon appears to be a band led by Leo Rodriguez and one of their albums is called Prepare for the Changes. I also looked to see if any other videos have been claimed and lo and behold they had. At this point I tweeted Trevor Morris about this just to let him know and maybe get some feedback but he never responded. I figured that that was enough time to wait and decided to dispute the claim on the 20th of September. I cited fair use, parody and tribute in this instance and I think the original Dragon Age music really does make the video funnier. I also noted when filing the dispute that the copyrighted content did not belong to No Made Records or White Dragon and was actually the property of Bioware EA and composer Trevor Morris. I also commented on Leo's video informing him of the situation to which he replied fairly immediately, thanks for the information, we will take appropriate action, thanks. Now I've no idea what this action is, but at least he was polite. The first thing I'd do if I was caught out like this would be to remove the section of video that had the copyrighted content. That's what we have here, if you don't believe me just go listen. 107 to 340. It's the fucking Dragon Age Inquisition theme right there. Uh, it's a great theme by the way and much better than the game deserves. The dad metal with a Latin twist that follows may well be White Dragon's intellectual property, but the section that Content ID is picking up certainly isn't. On the 25th of September actually won my dispute as 1RPM dropped their claim, but music specific videos have not been so lucky as of recording. Now I'm just interested to see what happens next. I mean, will Leo remove the Dragon Age from his metal rage and will all these fake claims be removed? Will EA or Bioware get involved? Probably not, although some of the videos claimed have hundreds of thousands of views and 1RPM no made records could be monetizing these, earning cash for content that isn't theirs. I didn't contact EA or Bioware because I'm not responsible for protecting their intellectual property. I like the fact that I can listen to video game music for free on YouTube and I'm impressed by the restraint that some publishers show in allowing it. Most people uploading music tracks from games do not, rightly, monetize the videos and they usually add links to places where you can buy the music. Then situations like this arise and put a spanner in the works. Prepare for the changes must have been uploaded to the Content ID database and so any videos where the Dragon Age Inquisition theme is prominent will be flagged this might be why no one else has brought this up or succeeded with a dispute as far as I know. 
Re-uploading music to YouTube that doesn't belong to you is sketchy at best, especially if it isn't tied to fair use in some way, through a review for instance. So this video isn't a call to action, it's more of a public service announcement and it also shows the flaws in the content ID system and how little checking the claimants and YouTube actually do. This bears the question, what were 1RPM thinking? This very clearly isn't No Made Records intellectual property. I mean, is this a case of greed and hoping no one will notice, or is it a genuine mistake? That'll become clearer depending on how my dispute goes and if the other videos remain flagged. I'd also have to question White Dragon here. Do they really have that little knowledge of how copyright law works? Is this the Midas touch? This could just be a really stupid error on their part. But how can you not know that taking someone else's music in its entirety and claiming it's yours is not okay? Or legal for that matter? Or perhaps because the record publisher is so small and so far away and Leo's YouTube channel is tiny, he thought he'd get away with it. If it wasn't for that pesky YouTuber. Interesting.